Hello and good morning, good afternoon, and very good evening to you. We've gone with both the tube. Hope you're well feeling grand and all is well in your world. Hello there, everybody. Um, okay, so today's video is not going to be an easy one to do, but I'm finally getting round to it. As the title suggests, uh, this video is all about the song Scar Tissue and why it means so much to me. So I'll get to that in but a moment. Uh, because I thought... Uh, it's took me a long time to get the, the, the courage up to do this video. And, and in all fairness, it's... Um, it's 9 o'clock at night at this point in time. And I, I, don't, I don't normally do videos this late, but I've, I've just been sat downstairs. Uh, I'm on my own in the house. Uh, Joe's out of work. So... Um, I've just been sat downstairs uh, just thinking, and 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 I just it, it feels right at this this point in time. It feels right, so I'm gonna I'm just doing this video right now. So um, so yeah, this video is all about why scar tissue means a lot to me. It means like it's, it's the most it's probably the most meaningful song to me in the world. Um, and I'll I'll get to that in but a moment why. And uh, I, I know a lot of people have been curious because I, I always say like they're cryptically like you know what this you know that scar tissue is the most my favorite Chili Pepper song is Don't Forget Me but the most meaningful song to me is Scar Tissue and I'll t I'll tell you why in but a sec. But first off, uh, this is the first of two videos today. The second video is uploaded as well, but the second video is just a song. And um, the song at this point in time is called Goodbye. And uh, but that might change. I don't know if I like that title. I don't know. It, it kind of fits to the subject matter, but I don't like how final that sounds. So, um, so by the time this video uh, comes out, it might have a totally different title that I've I've, I've thought about and, and then come up with. But anyway, so uh, so where am I? So yeah, uh, let me talk about this song quick before I get into that that, that kind of meaning. Um, it is going to be a bit of jibber jabber in this video, everybody, so just bear that in mind. I didn't want to do an intro jam because I've got uh, the, the, the song that I'm putting up, and um, I just I just want to talk, so to say. So, uh, hopefully, you know, it won't be too boring. So, uh, the song uh, was something I came up with at the beginning of the year. I was playing my Ivan as Strat, and I came up with this riff that is the main kind of like riff of the song. And I was like, I really liked that. And it, at the end of January, I, I, I recorded it. And um, I didn't understand where it came from. I was like, where does that come from? Where, why does that, that riff get beamed to me? What, where, you know, where did that riff come from? What does it mean? And I was uh, during recording it, it hit me square in the face what it meant. And it's to do with, you know, the subject matter of why scar tissue means so much to me. Hence, this video is kind of like a two-part, so to say. Uh, I was going to put the song in this video at the end, but I thought I'd put it up separately, so um, you don't have to watch, you know you don't have to skip through this video to to, to listen to the song if you, you know, if you if you like it. So the video the, the song is up separately, uh, but at the same time. So anyway, so yeah, why does scar tissue mean so much to me? What what is it about that song that means so much to me? Okay, simply simply put, sixteen years ago. At the beginning of March, um, I, my family, we, we, lost, we lost my grandma, basically, uh, 16 years ago. And I'd only been playing guitar... Nearly a year by that point. I started a year before uh, my grandma passed away. And um, it, it was... It, it would have been a, it would have been I would have been playing a guitar a year that May, but um, I'm already feeling funny. But okay, so um, so yeah, I I'd only just started playing guitar anyway. Um, the reason Scar Tissue means so much to me is I was learning that song on the day she passed away. Um, I was actually mid I was I was mid I was halfway well I was halfway through learning the final guitar solo. Uh, when I got the news, so um, that's the reason why scar tissue means so much to me. And it re every time I play it, 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 it reminds me of my grandma. Every 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 time I play it, and she's she's actually I found this picture the other day, and she's actually on the back of my headstock forever now on my on my number one guitar. So um, so that's the reason scar tissue means so much to me. It's because of the day. And the fact I was learning it when I got the news that she she you know she was she was gone and my grandma was a very important person to me 
and you know, and still is, and always will be. And um, you know, she was a really, really uh, strong person, and you know, um, I like all my family. We we uh, miss her massively, um, and have done for you know, for sixteen years. And um, as a result of that, like um, Scar Tissue is, is is her song for me. You know what I mean? It, it's the song that when I'm listening to it. Um, it conjures up all these, you know, these feelings and whatnot, and it, it's it's really it's really meaningful to me, scar tissue, because of that reason. So, and it's just the ultimate kind of, um, it's the song that means the most to me. It really is. It, in it probably in the entire world, it's the song that means the most to me, just because of that reason. Because she was such a big part of my life. Uh, but when she passed, it, it left a whole like I'm sure most of us have experienced this. Well, all of us have experienced this, and all of us sadly will experience this. When somebody like that passes away and leave, you know, leaves you, leaves your life, it's um, it leaves a hole that never gets, you know, filled. It, you know, just this, this this gaping, like um, more so to say, but you just you just can't fill it. You just can't. There's just nothing to fill it. It's just, it, it's forever there. You know, what I mean, you can't, you can't. I don't know, you never get over it. You just learn to live with it. It's as simple as that. And um, that's why Scar Tissue means everything to me, really. It's, it's one of those songs that, like, you know, really, um, excuse the pun, struck a chord. Uh, because, I, like I say, I, I, I was learning it the day, on the day she, she passed. So um, it's really important to me. But the, the thing that guts me and really, really, really upsets me, and then this is going to be hard to talk about. It's already hard to talk about. Uh, hence, I'm looking at the camera. I can't, I can't, um, I can't, I can't do it otherwise. Uh, if I look away, I might be able to do this. So, um, uh, because because she never uh, because she because she passed away in like the first year of me playing guitar. Um, um, she never got to see me progress or or play, and um, I never got to. You know, she never got to see me play, and I never got to invite her to a gig or, or, or anything like that. And um, I, I had during gigs, not every gig, but quite a few gigs. I've always had, uh, or every gig I've ever had, but not every gig. Sorry, but um, I'm I'm struggling. I bet you can't tell. But um, every every other kind of gig also, I get this image where. Um, I'll be playing, and it happens in my head as I'm playing. It's like I can almost feel that she's there, and um, it's like I could almost look up and, like, you know, in 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 if 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 just a bit of comedy, if there's a crowd. <laughs> but it, like, it, if you know, it's almost like I can feel her, and like it's it's like if I look up, like I can I'll I can see her in 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 the crowd somewhere. But um, the heartbreaking thing is, I I will always look. And I can, you know, she never, you know, she's never there. Um, and uh, you know, uh, I just wish she was. You know what I mean? It's 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 one of those things that I would I would love for her to have seen me play live. Even though I'd, you know, I do feel that she is there, kind of so to say. It's um, it's still hard to know that she's kind of like you know physically not but um is in some other forms i say because i can feel it i can feel it and i don't care what anybody says and people people call me silly like you know oh, this that and the other and I, and I really couldn't care less i can feel her presence there i really can and um and i just wish i could look up and, and see and and it, it, it's just not it's just not to be so um and i've all you know Scar Tissue is one of those songs that I absolutely kind of like. I'd never get bored of, and I, I literally f have fantasized for years and forever. You know what I mean? I, I was learning, I learned Scar Tissue in the first year of playing guitar because I got into Job Shanty that year, like the first year of playing guitar, and I, I was just fell in love with that man and fell in love with the music and the, that song then. And when, when my grandma passed it, it, it meant even more to me. And every time I play it, like I say, it just conjures up uh, memories of her. And uh, the feelings that she gave me of um, yeah, 
what much you give me. And um, it's one of those songs that I've always fantasised. I know it sounds really, che- it's going to sound really cheesy and really silly, and it's never going to happen. But it's one of those songs that I've always fantasised actually playing with the Chili Peppers. You know, I've had dreams about it. I've had daydreams about it. I've had, you know, while while I'm playing it, I get daydreams of me playing it on stage in front of thousands and thousands of people. Um, with the Chili Peppers, you know what I mean. I have daydreams about that happening. Um, you know, it, it, it never will, and I'm not. I'm not kidding myself into thinking it will. I, like, you know, it, it's just a nice. It's a nice thought sometimes just to close my eyes and 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 pretend that, you know, I'm I'm on stage with you know with the chili, who hasn't had this kind of like you know um, fantasy of who's a Chili Peppers fan. But like just I'm on stage with them and I'm playing scar tissue to all these people and. Um, you know, in in the back of my mind was kind of like, you know, I hope this, hope um, my grandma can hear it. You know what I mean? It really, it really means a lot to me because of that reason. And um, yeah, so and, and and so that's that's the reason Scar Tissue means the most to me. Like, it's probably the most meaningful song uh, in the world to me, but because of that reason, like I say, and and I, and I fantasize about playing it with the Chili Peppers because it's you know it's almost like that's the like I know she'd be proud of me. Um, but that'd be like the peak for me of kind of like literally kind of like you know I, you know, I've, I've done, I've done something here. This is really really you know, like I said, I'm not, I'm not deluded into thinking that's gonna happen. You know, it, it's just it's just not. It's not, and and that's okay. You know what I mean? It, that's okay. It, it doesn't have to. You know, it doesn't have to happen. It, but for, you know, it doesn't have to happen to make me think that like you know she'd be proud of me because you know. Um, but, um, but yeah, so, um, so yeah, that's, that's why Scar Tissue means everything to me because of, it's because of my, it's my grandma's song and like I say, she's, she's on the back of this headstock and if the Chili Peppers ever rang and said, can, do you want to come on and play Scar Tissue with us? It'd be, it'd be done this guitar, um, and it'd be for her. Um, so that brings me kind of neatly to this new song that I've released. But I say I don't really I don't know about the title yet. I've I've called it goodbye, but it just seems too final. I don't like I don't like the feel of it. It doesn't feel right to the song. So uh, I say it'll probably have a different title when uh, this video goes up. Well, it, it it's separate. Like I said, I didn't want to do it in this video because I wanted to keep it separate to this video. So you can you can go back and listen to that without having to scroll through this video to listen to it. So, um, so the the, the song came about. When, when I was playing, I didn't understand where it came from. And then when I was recording it, all of a sudden it came very clear it was about my grandma. You know what I mean? It's an instrument. It doesn't have lyrics. It, it, I don't, I don't, I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm a, I'm a guitarist. I, I don't, I don't, I don't like writing lyrics. I don't like singing. I like to play my guitar and I like my guitar to sing for me. Because I, I find it easier that way to express and emote through this thing than I do through, through, through this thing. And uh, especially when it comes down to singing. So... It's an instrumental piece, and as I was recording it, all I could think about was my grandma. It was, it was just all throughout the entire recording, mixing, and, and mastering process of this 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 song I released today. Um, it was just it just it, all of a sudden it, and it just like meant everything to me, and all of a sudden like you know that song now means everything to me as well because it's it's my grandma's song that I wrote for her, and. Um, you know, I just put two little pictures that I liked to the music. It's it's nothing in particular, but like um. You know, it, it, what I will say about this song is what I'd like for people to do is just to put it on real loud and just sit down or lay down and just close your eyes and just let it take you away um, more than anything. Like, you know, just let, just let it take you away and let it take you where it's going to take you to either remember a loved one or, 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 or a period of time in your life or, or just something. You know, cause it's it's a song that again it can't fill voids. It, you can't fill the void like that. It's it's too big of a void to fill. But um, it's definitely a song that you know it can help. I I I I would like to think it's a song that can help. It's helped me, so to say. Um, like the guitar always has, and it always will. It, it, my guitar is. Is, is my number one therapist you know he's he, it's always there for me and it always helps me find a way and um sorry i'm rambling but um but yeah that's what this song's about this song's about my grandma but this song 
can mean anything to you out there. Um, it can mean a passing of your one of your loved ones, or like a, or a memory, you know, or, or of, of something good, you know. Um, it's it, it's not it's not a negative vibe song, you know what I mean? It's, it, it, there's nothing bad in it. It's 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 very sad and um, but but cheerful at the same time, and it, it's a very kind of like. Um, it's almost freeing in a way, but not really, but kind of, if that makes any sense, it's kind of freeing, um, especially to me. Um, it got something out of me when I recorded it, and the last guitar solo was just really hard for me to play, because uh, it was all improvised, and it, 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 the last guitar solo that came out was just very, very heavy for me, very, very heavy for me. Um, I recorded it on the 62 Strat, I didn't record it on this guitar, the the 62 was talking to me on the day I recorded it and I had, um, that was the one that made me do it, um, play, uh, and that's the guitar I used, and um, I used my trusty MG and I used the Line 6 HX for everything, uh, guitar wise. Um, but yeah, so there you go, everybody. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shut up rambling now. I, I, I wanted to do a little video, like I say, I, I've been meaning to do it for a while now, it's just that I've been been trying to get myself into the kind of like the um the mindset to to do it um and it has it's not been easy and this isn't a very easy video to film and like i said i keep i can't look i can't look at the camera because if i look at the camera i feel like i'm just going to break down a bit uh, i don't want to break down in this video so um so yeah uh where are we um so yeah that's why scar tissue means everything to me is because like i said i was learning it when the day my grandma passed away and I would just, I would just love to have, have seen where I am. You know, not in, you know, in, in physical form here. You know, not whatever. You know, here. You know, that bet that would be brilliant. And you know, and like I say, that's that, that's why Scottish means a lot to me. If that's what the next song is all about. It's all about my, my grandma and how much I miss her and. Um, you know, and, you know, you can't. Things change, things pass, you know, you know, and you, you know, sometimes things leave gaps and gaps that can't be filled. It's it, it's very very hard to to deal with. Like we all know, we've all we've you know we've all been there, or if we haven't yet, we and as much as it breaks me to say, it, we will be at some point in our life. And um, yeah, so there we go. Uh, that's why Scar Tissue means everything to me. And like I say, I do fantasize about playing with a chili peppers. It's just one of those songs. Seeing them play it live twice as well, it was like one of those songs where I just closed my eyes and just imagined it was me, you know, instead of John. <laughs> and, um, you know, I'm not going to say, I'm not, I'm, I don't, I don't want to ever say never, never say never, but um, I'm not stupid enough into thinking like, you know, they're going to ring or message me tomorrow saying do you want to come and play scar tissue with us <laughs> yeah i mean it, it'd be like an absolute dream come true it really would but you know it's, it, i don't it's not gonna happen but that's okay you know it's okay as well we're allowed to, it's a dream and it's an important dream to me and i i i, I love it for what it is and um like i say every time i play it i just kind of like imagine I think about my grandma and I just imagine what it would feel like to play that song in front of all those people and, and, and playing alongside Flea and Anthony and Chad and it's just like it's just really very emotional for me it's very very it's very very deep that song is for me and it like you know I'm sure it is for a lot of people as well and, it, and that, that but that's the reason it is for me is that's the reason it's so deep for me but anyway um and again, like I say, that's what this uh, new song is all about. And like I say, it will be available on my band camp. The link will be in the description box below. But um, like I say, it's just... It's still been a long time to get around to, this, to do this video. And it, it's it's not been easy. And, and I am waffling now. And I do apologise for that. But um, anybody who stayed to the end of this video, uh, I hope you enjoyed the song. And um, yeah. I will. I will see you again on Wednesday for a Q and A, everybody. I hope, uh, like I say, I hope I haven't waffled on too much. I hope, um, hope what I've said has made sense. I feel like I want to talk more, but I, I don't know. I don't have actually have any more words to say. So, um, so yeah. So the song, whatever it's called, I'm I haven't named it yet, is for my grandma, um, who I still feel is around. 
you know, in in one form or another, I still feel she's there. It's just I wish I could I could see her. Um, you know, especially at a gig when I'm playing, it would it would be brilliant. Um, it would mean the world to me that would. But you know, it, no one can make that happen. But um, that's you know, it is what it is. Anyway, um, thank you very much for watching, everybody. I do hope you enjoyed the song, and um, I'll see you again Wednesday for another Q and A. Um, yeah. Uh, goodbye now. Have a great morning, afternoon, and good evening. And I'll see you again very soon for another one. Um, goodbye now. Thank you.